Well, it looks like these corporate scumbags have responded to Ray Fisher's statement against Walter Hamada, which well, Warner Media is defending. And they sent a quote to the to the rap, which says, "Last summer, Mr. Fisher was offered the opportunity to to reprise his role." as Cyborg in a Flash. And it says here that Justice League star Ray Fisher and Warner Media are offering different differing takes on why the actor will not be reprising his role as Cyborg in DC's upcoming film The Flash. On Thursday, Warner Media defended DC Films President Walter Hamada after Fisher accused the company and Hamada of pushing him out of The Flash following an investigation into the actor's claims about misconduct during reshoots for the 2017's Justice League. As, as has been previously stated, an extensive investigation was conducted by an outside law firm led by a former federal judge who has assured Warner Media that there were no indictments to the investigation or impediments to the investigation. Warner Media said in statement Thursday. Last summer, Mr. Fisher was offered the opportunity to reprise his role as Cyborg in The Flash. Given his statement that he will not be participating in any associate film associated with Mr. Hormata, our production is now moving on. Warner Bros. meetings in business with Jeff Johns, who continues to produce Stargirl, Batwoman, Doom Patrol, Superman, Lois, and Titans for the studio, among other projects. And in my last video, Jeff Johns was also one of the uh, people who uh, Ray Fisher <clears throat> also accused. In a lengthy statement tweeted Wednesday night, Fisher voiced his frustration with the previous decision not to include Cyborg in a flash. I strongly disagree with their decision, but it's, no, but it's one that is unsurprising, he wrote. Despite the misconception, Cyborg's involvement in Flash was much larger than a cameo. And while I do mourn the lost opportunity to bring Victor Stone back to the screen, bring awareness to the actions of Walter Hamada, will prove to be a much better, important con contribution to the world. Fisher said he told Warner Media on December 30th that he could no longer work with Hamada, who this month extended his deal of studio through 2023. That is two years away. Walter's purposeful attempt to undermine the Justice League investigation in order to protect his friend and former co-president Jeff Johns, the actor said, adding Walter's attempt to protect himself by contribu contributing to the public dissemination of lies and misinformation about myself and Justice League investigation, Warner Bros. Richards, September 4th statement to Narak. Studio has it's disputed Fisher's assertion that Amano or any other ex executive interfered with its outside investigation. I believe in Walter Armada that he did not impede or interfere in the investigation. And Sarnoff, chair and CEO of former media studios and networks group, said in her own statement Thursday. 
Furthermore, I have full confidence in the investigation process and findings. Walter is a well-respected leader known by his colleagues, peers, and me as a man of great character and integrity. As I said in Walter's recent deal extension announcement, I'm, ex I'm excited about where he's taking DC Films and look forward to working with him and the rest of the team to build out the DC multi multiverse. Representatives for Fisher did not immediately respond to the rap request for further comment on Thursday. This marks the most recent development in ongoing dispute between Fisher and Warner Media, which began last July, when the actor publicly accused Justice League reshoot director John Just Whedon of gross abuse, unprofessional behavior, and set. And if you check my last video, uh, Josh Wien was also the the guy who probably was uh, doing some ungrateful things to. Um, to Ray Fisher, which to me might have been in a in the most racist way possible. Fisher said that Lean's behavior was enabled by then DC President Entertainment and President Jeff Johns and by John Berg, former co-president of production at Warner. Berg left the company to, in the summer 2017 as part of his restructuring while John stepped down some months later. He began to criticize Tamara in September. By late November, Wien announced that he was exiting the Nevers, a passion project that he had been developing for Warner Media's HBO. Two weeks later, Warner Media announced that it had concluded its investigation into Fisher's accusations and has taken unsatisfied many media action against unidentified individuals. But Fisher has continued to his Twitter campaign against the studio and its leadership. Last week, the actor who posted several tweets directed at the company and partly in response to the story by the rap saying it his role in the upcoming the flash movie would not be a recast after fisher announced that he could not work the pharma he said warner bros has struggled to regain control of the narratives ever since they failed to bury me in the jail investigation And I barely know the DC film precedent, but I really highly think that Walter Hamas should be fired. I really do. The investigation was conducted by an outside law firm and led by a federal former federal judge, a rep from the company, told the rep in response to Fisher's January 7 tweets. More than 80 people were interviewed. We have full confidence in its thoroughness and integrity, and remaining action has been taken. The investigation has concluded, and it's time to move on. And uh, if you see this you see this whole statement that I just read. Basically, that uh, Walter Hermana has, is not very good at his job and you know, Ray Fisher isn't happy about it. And that's what basically is. 
if you check if you check my last video these are the whole statements right there that I have already read and I think they should also fire Josh Bean too because I think that Walter Hermana and Josh Bean are working together to you know take down anyone who is basically black and by that very reason I don't think that Warner Media should keep Walter Hermana or Josh Wheat or both because of the fact that both of them have uh, the tendency to be racist towards one of their own respectable actors who decided to leave because of the racism that he was experiencing from both the president of DC Films and Josh Lee. Or even Jeff Johns, who's also part of this whole uh, debacle. I just hope that Warner Media thinks about what they're doing and actually starts doing a special kind of training like a special kind of training called a a racial training if they do that that will probably be a lot better and uh People like Ray Fisher wouldn't have to experience the blamed racism again. And the discriminatory of itself. So I hope that, uh, yeah, I hope that Warner Media or Warner Bros. rethinks about their their plan to move forward and they uh, first do some sensitivity training and uh, you know rethink about the way they were uh, treating Ray Fisher because for what they did to Ray Fisher was so disrespectful and that is practically something I won't stand by. People who who think it's okay to be racist to a black actor. I will not be watching one of their movies anyways because I don't have a TV. But I hope that Warner Media change their ways. Because right now, it's not looking good for them.